the True School Block Party that happened July 28th at the Peck Pavilion, the murals that happened in the Children's Area for the Black Arts Fest that happened on the Summerfest grounds, and then our all-day MKE event that happened at the Milwaukee Art Museum. It's literally three events, a trio of community events where we created art for the public, meaning we created the art in the public with the people. Well, there's a lot of uh, alignment of purpose. You know, there's a common mission to help young people in the city and help young people specifically through the arts. Every engagement is a public celebration of the arts where we are able to engage the community to get involved and have a true school experience. And so the trio engagement was about live performance, live visual art, and really bringing our whole network of um, project partnerships and our youth and family that we serve. It's about making Milwaukee a better place and a better city and a better community to live in. Using the public art as a way to bring a subject to the community at the block party. And so our young people worked on creating a sketch they create an outline for these murals. They got the base work done of it. I think what's cool about the Black Party is it really sort of, it, it encompasses everything that True School does throughout the year. It's dance, it's MC skills, it's DJ skills, it's creating art, um, it's entrepreneurship, it's selling art and monetizing art in, in such a way that the thing that I like about True School so much is that they, they teach kids to value what they do and what they create in such a way that there's a there's value to it. There's cash value to that. There's a opportunity to make a living in that. But the great thing was different community folks, young people, just appreciators of the art, were able to come up and paint. During that process, they're also able to engage with the young people and the artists and have these really important conversations. It's really good to get feedback from people who, who have run across something and said, I didn't even know that was yours. And there's nothing like being able to paint and then have people come up and talk to you while you while you in action and while you're doing it, um, and you just kind of get that appreciation from the from the community and crowd. That's just a good feel. I feel amazing to know that if I'm a complete a big piece, I've been working on it for however many months, and then to know that it's going to be in a space where it's safe, people will be able to enjoy it. You can walk up to it, analyze it, or it might just be there. It might be outside. It might be indoors. But just knowing that people will have a chance to interact with it. But what True School does is shows uh, how creativity is actually a professional skill and a professional asset and it is a tool that gives you one leg up over someone who has not had any creative uh, programming. If they actually pursue a career in, in art, if being an artist, I hope they stay local because uh, I love Milwaukee and Milwaukee needs as many artists as possible because it you know, it helps the cultural landscapes. Each event sort of picked up where the last one left off, and the trio of engagement was really about having local established artists and some of our emerging youth artists be able to be seen on big platforms in the city on, on like world-class stages for artists. Arts is a great way to get people from different backgrounds and with different opinions and different intentions in life to come together and be able to enjoy something. So whether it's music, the visual arts, for True School, we like to have all the elements present all the time. For us, I think it's super important to always push the limits, always um, crack the code and do something different. And so for us to do these murals and do pop-up graffiti art right across the street from City Hall and all these different um, community-engaged murals that were created, a lot of love from a lot of people went into it. And I think it's really empowering to our young people to be at the forefront of those events because every time we do any event, we are engaging our young people to be involved. We're not just preparing young people to, to think about how they can engage and empower the city in the future. We're showing them in real time how the skills that they're working on now actually translate to them having an impact in the city. True School has been my rock in terms of producing art and getting it out into, into the community. They continuously make sure that we get paid as artists. It's this affirmation that, I'm, that this is what's supposed to be happening. Well, the greatest opportunity in present day Milwaukee uh, when it comes to arts is the amount of talent we have in this city. Not only are we talent, but the amount of hunger um, to express ourselves. So when you invest in True School, when you donate your money or you're purchasing art 
or you're hiring us for DJs or commissioning us for murals, you are making an investment into an organization that is making a direct investment back into the community, into the local artist economy, and especially our young people. Art is ingrained in everything in our society. And that's what True School does. It teaches professional skills while um, expressing yourself creatively. That is a perfect kind of uh, combination of left, right brain activities. That's, that's, uh, um, that's they call that super intelligence. When you have a consistency in experiences, it becomes a culture and not just an experience. It's always exciting to say to an artist or a group of artists, hey, what would happen if? And then just let them fill in the blanks. Um, and True School is going to be one of those like go-to calls for me to say, hey, what would happen if?